Hello and welcome back to the Bold Bavarians. So we are in a very, very interesting spot right now because we have effectively crippled our liege, which is always a good thing to hear. Well, unless you've got really powerful neighbors that you need your liege to uh, ward off. But our liege has 800 troops. They're eight years old and their heir is some person over in France. Like, there's, there's nothing going on with them. They've got absolutely no no line going on. They have no alliances. It's like, they are completely isolated. This is as strong as they will ever be. We took their best province. So they are effectively just, you know, waiting for death at this point. So, what are we going to do about it? Well, we do have a truce with them. And that matters to a certain level, right? Our truce is for five years, and in those five years, they could easily get some power. Now, they're not going to get any more than one alliance, because, well, obviously, there's one of them, and they're eight. Um, and their heir is not close enough in any way to be, uh, like, actually someone who could be useful. Um, so, if their heir was their father, for instance, it's great. But I think their heir is their great uncle? Is that right? Uh, no, it's actually, that would be second cousin, something like that. I think that's the correct terminology, because it's their, um, would it be second cousin? It, actually, no, that would just be uncle. <laughs> there we go. It's just uncle. I, I was one, I was one generation off. Anyway, essentially, doesn't really matter. For the purposes of Crusader Kings, not close enough for an alliance, to negotiate an alliance. So... They are not going to have an ally for another eight years. Cool. We have that information. What are we going to do with it? Well, it means that we could wait out the truce. Uh, if we were to break the truce, which we can have a look at, right? Well, we can't because our armies are raised. Let's disband the armies. Right. If I was to break the truce, say, we would get... Does that actually tell me? Yes, yeah, so we get truce break. So we get the fame penalty, which is fine. Uh, the fame level will drop and it will break truce. So we gain broke truce, which is general opinion minus 50. Which is fairly bad, but not as bad as you might think. I mean, realistically, we don't have, like, hundreds of vassals. We have, like, two? Six. We have six vassals. But they're all, like, no. nobody's actually, like, of any significant power comparative to us. We are the only power within our um, realm. So... If we were to break it, it just means that our liege would dislike us, and that's basically the only thing we'd have to worry about. So we could do something with that. I think I'm inclined to let the truce uh, run out and then do something, but back to the main point. We have um, an opportunity to take stuff off of our liege. Independence is something that we could do, and independence makes sense if we have uh, a duchy that we can create after we become independent. Because the only reason we want to become independent is we want to get rid of our count status and replace it with a duchy status. Makes sense. So, what duchy is this? So this is Bavaria. How much of Bavaria do we have? So we only have four or five required counties. Okay. Cannot assert a title belonging to a liege. Not a problem. Cannot assert a title of the same or higher tier than the primary title of your liege. Again, not an issue. Cannot usurp a title from someone who considers your faith to be hostile or worse while they control any of its de jure lands. That is a problem. We could potentially fix it, but that is actually a major issue to us getting Bavaria. Um, and then, yeah, we don't have the right... If we got one more county, we could do that, potentially. Okay. That's kind of doable. Uh, what about this one, the Osberg one? I assume that we have one of three. We have one of three, yeah. And also... Um, yeah, we're... Oh, wait a second. Hmm, wait, go back to Osberg? Oh, no, it does say hostile. The hostile one's still there. And I don't think we're in any other duchies. This is all Bavaria. Passau was Bavaria. Yeah. So, basically, we only have Bavaria as our option. So, if we break free, we will only be a count-level title. That's not ideal. Hmm... We could, I'm just going to get rid of some of these while we're here for a second. Uh, we could potentially try, if we were to convert our leash somehow, I'm not sure how we would do it. I mean, would they, they won't let us educate her, right? Uh, offer guardianship. Um, where, where's me? Like, yeah, convert faith. Like, that's just a no. 
that it does not interest it at all, which makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, so if we were to have somehow converted our liege, we could have done something with that. Um, we could potentially do it if we get a favor with her, like a strong hook. But I don't think there's any way that we're going to get that. Mm, yeah, it's something to think about. Uh, we could potentially convert her, break free, and then take uh, Bavaria if we took one more province as well. That could happen. If we were to get a claim on Bavaria, that would probably be the best way to take it. We get a claim, we faction, we get our family in, we get Bavaria. That is by far the cleanest way of doing things and what I want to happen. So, let's just have a look. Could I create a faction? Wait, there already is a faction to put me in charge? Wait. We've already done this. We already are in charge of this. I guess if I unpause, this will sort itself out. Let's unpause a second. There we go. I was sure that would sort itself out. We can't join this one because it's already at war. We cannot create another faction because we have a truce. Okay. So maybe what I want to do is I want to fabricate on our liege. One way or another, that gives us a potential way to become a, a duchy. If we were to um, take a single piece of land from our liege... We could then become independent fairly easily, and that would then allow us to usurp the title if we switch religion. If we uh, get a claim on the duchy, then that also allows us to get it very easily because we can do a faction. Yeah, so I think what we want to do immediately is start fabricating on our liege and hope that we get the duchy event, which doesn't seem that uncommon. Now, our court chaplain's not the best guy in the world, but you know... That's all right. What's his chances of getting a duchy? It doesn't actually say. It must be a random chance not related to um, the actual ability here at all. Okay, that's something to think about. All right, let's go in here. We've got a lot of things to look at. We can ransom Gertrude. So let's deal with our prisoners first. So Gertrude uh, von Nordheim is betrothed to Siegfried Nordheim Osberg. Yeah, you know what? Seems like a good one to ransom. We get some money. Cool. Edelheid uh, Chattenoa. Um, she's married to this random person. Okay. Um, her stats aren't amazing. I think we just release her. Yeah. We'll just convert, hook, and release. Pierre Ramon de Barcelona. Um, he was previously married to our liege. Interesting. His martial skill, or sorry, his prowess is actually just terrible. I don't understand how it could be so low, but there we have it. Uh, so he's absolutely terrible in every way. Uh, we could release him for a favor. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this. Demand conversion release. Just let him out. There's no reason for him to be imprisoned. Okay, cool. Uh, next one. We need a designated guardian for Anna. Anna, you're going to be educated by my mother. Perfect. Right. Send her off. Uh, we're in line to inherit titles. We know that. We can lawfully imprison Elena. Uh, oh, we can do that, but she is because she's um, a fornicator. She doesn't really have any money. There's no real reason to. We're unlikely to succeed, and she's about to die. So that seems like something we're not going to do. Uh, and the other stuff is just getting control back in our counties. Now, this one here... You're one holding above your domain limit of five, which will reduce your taxes and levies. That is a problem. However, the one that we just got is pretty good. So I think we're going to keep at it and I'll see what the actual negative is. I think it's 20%, but we'll see. Thank you for the uh, favor. Again, thank you for the favor. We'll get rid of both of them. So we just have a couple of hooks uh, hanging around. To my hysterical vassal. I have come to the inexorable conclusion that you truly are the best candidate I have for my open council position. Though it pains me to do so, I'm unfortunately obliged to offer you the position of Spymaster of Bavaria. Um, sure? Why? I think these are both good questions. Um, interesting. But can I renegotiate my contract? She would just say no, right? I need to have hooks. I don't have any hooks right now. But I was just seeing why that was there. Um, hmm. So... Really, the only scheme we can do against her is murder. I don't really want to murder her right now. We can also, for free, change our faith at any moment by adopting her faith. It's just a free button. So that's potentially an option if we decide that we need to break free and grab the duchy. Right, full speed. Let's go. 
Uh, oh, 99. Uh, so that's Tyrol's claim on Eshin Loe. Okay, interesting. We might actually be able to take that from our liege. That's a potential option. Munchin is under siege. There's not really anything I can do against it. I really just hope that they end their war. Yeah, they should end their war before that siege is perfect. My liege lost their war, so it's lost a little bit more land. So our liege is even weaker than they just were. They're currently in a liberty war against my brother and uh, my cousin. So we're, 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 we kind of support that. I don't believe I can join it. Um, yeah, I can't join it at all, even if we wanted to. So that's fine. Uh, has that changed our situation about being able to usurp their uh, title? Probably not, because it's dependent on how many I have, right? Yeah, yeah. So it hasn't changed that, but it has changed how much our liege actually owns. Which is interesting. What happens if they win this Liberty War? They enforce demands. Autonomous vassals happens. Okay, and they owe every Liberty Faction member a favor. Hmm. Okay. Um, so that's... Yeah, so that's if they press it, and if they surrender, then they get imprisoned. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm, so hopefully they win. We don't really want my family getting imprisoned. And then this is the de jure war for the uh, Duchy of West Franconia, which they are currently winning. But it shouldn't affect us, in theory. And they're sieging down my liege's land, not my land, which is very nice of them. I appreciate that a lot. Probably because they can't siege down ours as easily, and we already sieged down that one, so it's destroyed, but we'll see. A claim on Osberg. For months, uh, Gocher, Count Arnold's suffragan bishop, has been digging up spurious content, uh, contracts and fabricated histories. Now Count Arnold dares to act as if it all amounts to some legitimate claim on the county of Osberg. Yeah, what, what are you doing there, mate? Nah, nah, it's just lies. Can't be accepting that. So they've now taken this one. They're going to siege my land. It's 100% going to happen. Nothing I can really do about it unless I want to fight for it. Children get random skill points? Sure. Oh, wait, no, I get random skill points because of my children. That's not bad. I can see which ones gave it by looking at family focus, I think. Yeah, so plus two diplomacy. Um, I should maybe put my spouse on a, on a particular task as well. Did we only get, we only got plus two diplomacy? Wait, surely we should have got more. Uh, I thought one of these... Oh wait, I'm reading the wrong one, aren't I? It's called Sound Foundations. Yeah, oops, my bad. So, I'm actually getting zero in here. I'm getting three Marshall. I'm getting one uh, Stewardship. And I'm getting one Learning. I'm thinking actually I might put my wife on Stewardship and that would maybe potentially increase our domain. Yeah, if I change this to uh, Manage Domain, she doesn't give us a lot, but does that push us over the edge? If it doesn't, then we don't want to do it. Nah, it doesn't. Okay. Well, we'll wait till the end of the month, just to be sure. Yeah, not a chance. Okay, so, um, I think we'll put her back to either Assist Ruler or one of these ones. But, uh, I think Assist Ruler is fine for just now. It actually gives us the exact same amount of stewardship, so we'll stick with that. The Siege of My Capital? Yeah, to be honest, actually, there's nothing I can do about this. I They have more troops than I have, and I want them to win, so... There's no way, I'm thinking about it, they do need to siege my land, unfortunately. Hildegard seems to be having a difficult time at our latest feast. She slipped underneath one of the tables and hid there from people for the entire meal. So she can become shy, impatient, or gluttonous. Uh, I guess she's going to be shy. That's okay. Not a problem. Goodbye, capital. It's been sieged. And my children have been captured. Uh, I'd very much like to uh, ransom these back, though. Uh, I can get... My brother could have a favor on us. That's fine. He already has a favor on us. Yeah. I mean, this is not an issue at all. He already has a favor because he knows that I'm a witch. Or he already has a hook, anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they've all been released. That's what I like to see. Uh, oh, and he released my sister as well. Oh, that was very nice of him. Oh, my counselor died. That's not so good. New marshal? This Baron doesn't seem that bad at the job. You can have it. Right. Um, we'll get rid of all of that. Liege lost their war. Wonderful. Um, are my children all released? I don't have any family members still imprisoned. Hopefully. Designated guardian for um, for Friedrich. Um, hmm. I guess my mother could educate him. Is this my second son? It is. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, second son. So, um, I'm just checking that my, uh, my wife could do it, though. You know what? My wife's going to educate you. Sure. We'll go with that. Right. Carrying on. Uh, we're still getting this claim, and that's kind of the biggest thing that we have going right now. It's 15 months left. How long's our truce got left on it? Because uh, we have been going at speed 5, so it's got 3 years left on it. So we're going to get the claim a little bit early. So we could potentially have a chance for a second claim if we wanted it. Who's this guy? My cousin and brother-in-law. Alright, my sister's wife. Yeah, sure, I'll pay you 10 gold for him. No problem. Not, not an issue. I'm also happy to keep her gold right now in case we want a mercenary at some point. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. Ooh, Tuscany kind of exists here now. Interesting. Uh, Themo is getting a good education. Well, that's great to hear. Slipping away. Hedwig seems to have been having a difficult time at our latest feast. She sneaked out uh, She sneaked out early and was not seen for the entire rest of the evening. So, um, we can make her impatient. Shy. Or gluttonous. Impatient's fine. All of these are bad traits. I don't really care when it comes to bad traits. I want to influence them towards good traits. If they're all bad, what can I do? As Count, I've been obliged to attend a local jousting tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. While I'm waiting under the pavilion for something to happen, my cousin Count Jurgen comes up to my te table, sits down, and, well, and sits down. Some tourney, yeah? Uh, anyway, how have you been? It's my cousin Jurgen. Jurgen of Ravensburg. Oh, right, yes. Um, and say, it's good to see you, or we're... Uh, we are no longer close. You and you are no longer close. Now nah, I'll become friends with Count Jurgen. Why not? And we get friendship bonuses. I just remembered because we get a uh, confidant bonus. So each friend adds strength gate, uh, stress one, and there's another one as well. I think that works. Yeah, each friend relation gives you plus two random skill points. Oh, what's that one called? It's called friendly counsel. So, just checking what we gained. Um. Friendly council. Wait, did what? Did we gain nothing? Maybe I need to wait a day or two. There we go. Let's see. Let's see what I gained. Friendly council. So each friend relationship, of which we have one, should increase it one of our stats by two. Am I crazy? Or is nothing being increased by two? Let me, let me double check what that says. This one's called um, friendly council. Each of your friend relations gives you two random skill points to the maximum of five. Um, hmm. Oh, maybe they went in here? No. Okay. This uh, does not seem to be true. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why. Maybe it's just not applied yet or something? Maybe if I check now? Stats are the same. I must not be understanding it. it. Must be. I'm, I'm obviously missing something. We'll move on. Yeah, that's fine. Claims about to happen, which is fantastic. House head changed. Okay, so this is now just my neighbor. Uh, it is my nep. Well, yeah, that would be my nephew. I think second cousin. That that one actually would be second cousin. Um, or would that be second second cousin nephew because she's also my sister in law? Something like that. Anyway. He's some vague relation to me now, uh, and is therefore a uh, fair game. But also, we are now house head, which is fantastic. Rasso, my son, uh, you're going to be educated by my brother-in-law. Yeah, sure. That seems like a good idea. Uh, let's... Ooh, what's this one here? Declare war. Yes, I can declare war on him. That's 100% correct. Um, Let me just have a quick look at our witch coven. So we're at 42% of adult house members, which is not bad. It means we probably only need one or two more to be witches and we're good. Um, which means if I, my two children that I'm educating, if they became witches, that might push us over the edge, maybe. I don't know. Uh, don't know exact numbers here. I'm kind of tempted to declare war for that. Because that would give us Bavaria one way or another. You know what we do? We wait for this claim to come in. And then we, we make our decision after we know what claim we got. The Age of Knowing. My daughter Hildegard hovers in the limbo between childhood and adulthood. I have taught her enough to understand the truth. And she is still young enough to have an open mind. Of course we're going to tell her. It's only 97. But she is convinced. Wonderful. 
Now she's not an adult yet. She's an adult uh, soon. What's the uh, what? What's her birthday? Her birthday is April twenty second. Okay. What claim did we get? Aha! You see, I knew we were right to wait. So, um, since she unfortunately insists on being Catholic, I could argue you have a claim on the Duchy of Bavaria. Oh, maybe there are conditions for the duchy claims, and that's why it's not percentage. Like, if you're a different religion, you're much more likely to get the duchy. I'm obviously going to do all of Bavaria, because that's huge. And now we have no reason to attack um, our nephew second cousin, um, because we now... Um, yeah, because we now don't need this land. Taking this land would be bad for us. We, we, would, go uh, we would go above our domain limit. Um, if we take the Dutch, he would be much happier. Okay, that's cool. When, when's our truce? Truce ends in... Uh, it'd be better to look at it from our side, because she probably doesn't have a truce on us. Two years. Okay. So, um, 1,112 is the year that we're going to uh, attack. That seems pretty good. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.